Assalamu alaikum, Daluno. My name is Queen Amina. I'm from Enugu State, but I was born and bred in Kaduna State. I'm the current most beautiful girl in Abuja Advocate. Well, my name is Steven Ajibola. I'm 25 years old. I'm a model. I'm from Suleri. Confidence, Kevin. 23 years old. I'm from River State. Well, if Henry Udorisi. I'm a Nollywood actor and businessman. Adora Mabufo. I'm from Oba in Alhambra State. I'm 25 years old. I'm, I'm a student and a businesswoman. I'm Mira Kolibokwe Ikechuku. I'm 22 years old and I'm a student pilot at International Aviation College. My name is Tracy David. I'm from Ndoko West, local government area of Delta State. I'm currently the most beautiful girl in Delta State. Yo, my name is Precious Ewa, aka Supersonic Blaze. I'm a music producer. I'm Jenna Victoria. I'm 25 years old. I am a teacher at a secondary school. I'm Sipwen Ufui. By name, I am from Kosovo State. I'm 27 years old. Yeah, my name is Precious. I'm Arabo. I'm from Imo State. I'm 29. So I act, I sing. My name is Daniel Abwa. I'm 26 years of age. I'm from Coach River State, Bukit Local Government to be precise. The Mr. Tells in Nigeria 2016 and I'm also a software engineer. Angela Aniloibi. I am 35 years old. I'm from Benue State. I'm a business lady, though like a working class lady, yes. My name is Chichi. I'm 27 years old from Abia State and I'm an actress. My name is Joy. I am 26 years old. I am married. My name is Vuma Ako. I'm 22 years old. I'm from Kogi State, Nigeria. I'm a singer and ex-model. I was former most beautiful girl in Kogi State 2014. I heard of Oz Island through a radio station, Hot FM Asaba, from Instagram, from the social media, online, and I thought I'd give it a try. A friend told me about Oz Island and I kind of checked it up and it was my thing. So I picked interest and decided to apply. Oz Island is all about adventure. I want to experience it firsthand. I think I'm Oz Island material because I'm a survivor. Because I am strong. I am self-willed, I'm determined, and my threshold for endurance is very long. It's about your intellect, it's about your physical strength, and that's what I'm all about. I believe I've been living in a shell for a very long time. Marriage has not been a barrier to my dreams and aspiration, and I love adventure. I love fun and adventure. I love adventure and I love traveling. I like going to the extreme. I love having fun. I want to know how far I can go being pushed. I know I have the ability and the intellect. And when I'm stressed, I really want to know how I can cope with, with stress. I'm going through a serious breakup right now with my woman of six years. My most challenging moment in life is surviving in the IDP camp. The most challenging day of my life was the day I got shot. One of my greatest challenges is seeing my family in need and not being able to help. And the most challenging day of my life should be, I think, my first flight. It would be October 27th. That was when I lost my father. It's been really, really challenging. A lot of drama. My family fell a victim of post-election crisis in 2011 in Kaduna State. And then we lost everything. I was going to school and we didn't know that they were robbing the front and they shot me. People thought I was going to die because there was blood everywhere and I didn't die. After the struggle in the bush, trying to survive without food and water, we ended up in the IDP camp and then back to the east to start life all over again. It was traumatic here, yeah? but I survived it. Thank God, it has only made me wiser and stronger. But I overcame the fear and, and I finally I fled the pain. It was fun and exciting for me. If I could go through all that and survive, I mean, look at me now, I'm a beauty queen. There's nothing I cannot do. Please, bring the action. Oz Island are playing. Uh, I think Oz Island is the perfect platform to give me that solitude. To decide if uh, we want to carry on with the relationship or can we go our separate ways. If I found myself alone on an island and I'm supposed to choose between water, the Holy Bible and food, well, I guess I'll choose food. I'm going to need the Bible to meditate, to focus, because religion is all about hope. Um, I think I'll go for the food because on an island, there's water. So I think the Bible is going to give me hope, like, hey, someone could come through and save you or some chopper or something, you know. I know it's salt water, but um, as a science student, I know if I avoid the water and um, try to trap the evaporated one, could drink it. I don't like being hungry and I can actually eat and pray 
I mean, I have some Bible verses in my head, so I don't need to go for the Bible. It is written that man shall not live only by bread alone. The Holy Bible is, will, will be my best companion, and with it, God will send me a help, I, I just believe. Number one strategy is um, teamwork. I love being in good terms with my colleagues. The strategy is to survive, you know. Basically, dog eat dog, we survive. Um, strategy, I really don't have any strategy. I just want to come here, have fun, take every day as it goes. Yeah, that's it. I'm Ozaland because Ozaland defines me. I call myself tough because I'm truthful, I'm outspoken, understanding, I am genuine, and I am what else? Hard working. This is the platform I'm looking for to add value to myself, showcase my talent. I'm going to flow with the mood. I think I will adapt. I don't see myself falling in love with anybody in the island because I'm not here for that. I'm here for the money. Being on Ozaland is just a start for something big that's going to happen in my life. I don't have a problem with cameras following me about. And I also don't have a problem with nudity. I mean, I'm an actress, but it's not like that's a priority anyway. But I can cope with it. I want the world to know that it is possible to be on this platform and still maintain your moral values. I am here because I feel I have what it takes. I am a survivor. I really want to have my fan base from here. Then I can start other things. I'm not here for jokes. I am here to wait. This is business for me, man. Show business. And I'm in it for real. I mean, if I could fly a plane, if I drop, I mean, 30 days in the jungle shouldn't be a big deal. I'm ready. Now you guys need to watch it and watch out for this show. You're going to see the best of the best. The show started with an official induction ceremony. Contestants were briefed on the rules of the engagement, closely followed by an unsurprised house party. If I tell you, say I love you, oh, my money, my body, now your own, oh, baby. Party billion for the account, yo, oh, yeah. Versace and Gucci for your body, oh, baby. Do not do, do 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 do, I go to the chuku chuku, biko obi anuju. Say you do me juju, cause I'm feeling the juju. Take it to you, I wanna dash it to you. Take it, you can have it to you. Take it, you know I got this to you. Take it, I love you, 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 I love you. I love you. There's nothing above you, there's nothing above you, above you, above you. Jet, yo. I like your mini skirt, yo. Okay, you carry fancy, yo. If I tell you, I. Contestants, good morning. You have 60 seconds. You get out of that door to meet me downstairs. Grab your bags, lock and load. Now, 60 seconds.
9, 10, 10 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So were you acquainted yesterday with yourselves? How many of you are here? How many? 20. I asked him. 20. You're 20? How many are you? 20. How many were you yesterday? 21. Good. So why are you 20 now? Anybody else? Are you sure you got acquainted yesterday at a party? So who's missing? Or who are those that are missing? Ladies, here, over here. Over here, both of you. So why are you late? You went to pee. Why are you late? Does anybody want to take a pee break? Anyone with a pee break? You want to take a pee break? Step forward. You want to take a pee break too? Step forward. Okay. Four of you, just line up here. Lateness will not be tolerated. Not in any way. There will be no tea breaks. There will be no pee breaks also. Now these two ladies here, we give you specific instructions so as the rest of you to come downstairs. And how long did I give you? 60 seconds. Okay, you're way past 60 seconds. And as a punishment, you would have to do press-ups. And the ladies too that want tea breaks, pee breaks, you join them. All right? And the person with the least number of pressers, there will be consequences. So start now. The least number. The least number. The least number. Have that in mind. Good. The least number of push ups. I'm counting. To everyone here, if you want a pee break, please raise your hand. Anyone for a pee break? Last chance. I'll let you go for the pee break. Anyone? What's wrong? No one wants to pee. Please, next time, ladies, when you want to pee, wake up and pee. When you see other people that want to pee, say to yourself, you can pee in your pants, pee wherever, but I'm not here for your pee break. Now get back in line. Next time, there'll be consequences. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Am I clear? Yes, sir. Good. All right, your show will start. We will move to another location and you will be blindfolded. Okay? Yes, sir. Roughneck here has a number of blindfolds. Okay? Yes, sir. And please note that at any point in time, you could be evicted, you could be sent home. Alright? Yes, sir. So once I give you specific instructions, try your best, your very, very, very best to adhere to all instructions. Okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good. What's your name? Miracle. Miracle, the forward. Take the blindfolds. All of them. 
hand it to your fellow contestants. So, right now, I'm not going to ask you to blindfold yourself. Sorry about that. Blindfold the next person, please. So make sure that person cannot see. If you like pick your friend, and if I test, do the test, and the person can see, there will be consequences. Am I understood? Sure, yes, sir. Make sure that person cannot see. I shouldn't take ages. How hard is it to blindfold someone? So, um, we're going to touch the shoulder, of, the right shoulder of somebody. Welcome to Omo Resort, home to Owls Island. You may take off your blindfold. Alright, this is what we're doing here. So this is Owls Island. And Owls Island, here you meet intellect and skills. So one of the skills that we we'll need right now is your navigational skills. Okay, so can I have your attention? So the four people that did the push-up this morning, can you step forward? Okay, so since I just have four, there you go, discuss it. Show it amongst your people, quickly, quickly, quickly. I'm going to take the map back. So the map in your hands is going to tell you how to get to Oz Island. Okay? You need to navigate your way and find the exact location. All right? Okay, now, and then there's a flag. The first person to get to this flag gets what? Immunity from the next eviction. Okay, and who knows when this next eviction would be, right? But you need to find that flag. First person, Good. Immunity, right? Sounds good? Yeah. So it means that the next eviction, bam, you're free. No matter what. So uh, we have your phones. Okay. First to get a flag. Okay. Punctuality is key. All right. Steven, are you motivated? Good. Good. So you can take my right. The journey starts now.
Kom op, Waar, kom op, Waar. Kom op, Waar. Eén vinger. Eén vinger. This way. This way, this way. Ja, hier, kom. Congratulations, Efe. Hold out your flag, let me say it. What does it say? Old Island. I know all that is story for you. The most important thing is the immunity, right? Oh yes, absolutely. Despite astonishment on punctuality, ten minutes after, if he found the flag, a contestant majestically strolls in late. Any one of you can go right now. Not me. Welcome. So one man gets the immunity, another man comes late. So can you tell me a thing or two about coming late? You said lateness attracts a punishment. Mm -hmm. And that it doesn't tell well about a person. Punishment. punishment. So we have one person with immunity and the other person at the tail end. Step forward. That's okay. I would not tolerate lateness from henceforth. If you're late, if you're not iffy, please consider that you're gone. Unless I just might feel merciful on that day. But that's not certain, right? Yeah. Okay. What's your name? Victor Paul. Victor Paul. You're hereby evicted from Rose yeah. Island. Pack your bags oh, wow. and stay clear from oh, the wow. island. You may leave. Uh, so, many other things won't be tolerated. Okay? It feels absolutely awesome to be the first winner of the Immunity Challenge. Like, like she's real. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't explain how it feels. I really feel like a winner, to be honest with you. Yeah, it feels amazing. Um, on getting to the island, I must say, um, it's, it felt, it actually felt like a dream, not a good dream. It felt like some bad, tasking dream because I didn't get enough sleep the previous night before getting to the island and. Immediately, against it, and I'm like, boom, you have a challenge. I'm like, what's going on? <laughs>